Now Nancy Pelosi is alleging a cover-up by Trump in regards to his, uh, his tax materials. Of course, he's saying, fuck off, I'm not giving you my taxes. Nuchin, the Treasury, has said, we're not giving you the taxes. The IRS has said, regardless of what the, uh, the draft memo said, they're saying they're not giving the taxes up. Uh, federal court sides with, with the U.S. House on the issue um, with regards to trying to defeat the subpoena there that, that Trump uh, took executive action on. Now, he hasn't invoked executive privilege yet, but what he's, his lawyers are doing now is appealing anyway. So that'll be dragged out for months possibly to come. I think that it's funny because the Democrats are possibly walking into a trap. How do we know that Trump hasn't set an elaborate trap, the sort of thing that he's you know, kind of known for, uh, for people trying to uh, force them to investigate, force them to start impeachment proceedings too? That's the other thing. They're tying impeachment now into this argument. They're saying basically, if Trump doesn't give us it, if Trump doesn't do exactly what the U.S. House wants in regards to his personal finances, we'll impeach him or something. Trump, I think, is like, go ahead. Fucking start the, the proceedings and see what happens. The problem is the GOP controls the Senate by a significant margin. You would need an overwhelming number of Republicans to defect in order to cause that to happen. The problem is that unless you have actual evidence of wrongdoing, that's not going to work. The Republicans will largely hold rank. In the, you know, if, if Amash were a senator, then it would have been significant. He's in the House and nobody gives a damn. As far as the American people, getting up towards half of the population uh, approves more or less of what Trump's doing. Uh, there's a, there are a lot of people who strongly disapprove. Like is, It's more of a, a partisan metric now, approval, than for some presidencies. For a lot of presidencies, they've got you know, a certain amount of support and it's softer. People might disapprove, but they don't like strongly disapprove. They just kind of disapprove. With Trump, it's like totally bipolar. Everyone seems to either love or hate him, and there's like this maybe 10, 20% of the population that's on the fence at any given time. Trump has enough support to survive any impeachment proceedings that don't produce actual tangible evidence that can convince the Senate. That's fundamentally what it's about. It might, the impeachment vote might fail. Yeah, and so they want his taxes, they're convinced that he's done something wrong, but they've never actually given any reason for why they believe that. That to me is problematic. It's problematic that the, that the Speaker of the House, that Nancy Pelosi, would allege a cover-up when Trump has not done anything that is outside of his executive privilege to do. He is perfectly privileged to say, no, I'm going to litigate this, and I'm not going to immediately hand this information over. He is perfectly at liberty to have a person running the Treasury or the IRS who tells Congress the same thing and says, look, this is confidential material. We cannot divulge this. The Fourth Amendment prohibits us from doing so. What do you expect us to do? They're going to take this probably before SCOTUS. It's going to be a long time before that happens. For Nancy Pelosi to make such an allegation of a cover-up is very, very funny uh, because it sounds like a conspiracy theory at some point now, doesn't it? When Trump uh, says, well... Uh, you know, it's a witch hunt or the deep state, you know, m m conspiracies of that sort. The Democrats jump all over and say, oh, no, that would never happen. But they're, they're willing to allege that the president of the United States is covering up, like covering his ass. But that's funny because for a couple years you also alleged that he colluded with a foreign state to defraud us in the last election. It was shown that that wasn't true, and that's why they're investigating him now. They simply want to have a high-level investigation hang over his head into the 2020 election because they're convinced that it'll keep him from being reelected. This is all nothing but theatrical bullshit. I don't think that any of them really believe, seriously, I don't think that Schiff or Pelosi believe honestly that there's a cover-up. I don't think they honestly believe that Trump ever did anything wrong on his taxes. That's why they're actually probably a little bit glad right now, because they can drag this out through court forever, uh, have this hang over Trump's head, and they know that unless they make, make a stronger move, which I don't think they're willing to do, he can't, he's not going to invoke executive privilege, which would look bad for him, even if it's his right to do. And it'd be very, very funny indeed if he did. Uh, he, that he won't do that, and so they can just continue their, their witch hunt investigation. They're not investigating to find anything anyway. Although if they are, they're, they're, they're fishing in an empty lake. Uh, I don't think that there's anything there to find. You said the old saying is, if there's smoke, there's probably fire. There's no smoke. There's no, there's no legitimate reason. Like if, if a normal court were to try to get someone to turn over their tax documents. Like, like let's say that in a normal prosecutorial sense, the state said, well, we think that this person has cheated on their taxes. We're going to, going to investigate them and subpoena everything. 
under normal circumstances, a judge would probably say, okay, well, you know, what evidence? Well, you show me the evidence specifically, I'll give you the warrant, you can grab this paperwork. They wouldn't grant it under, these, uh, si under this situation. There is no actual evidence for the claim. There's nothing to back up the claim that there's a possible cause to investigate. They're simply saying, well, we have cause to investigate. All right, well, what's your evidence? What's, the pr what's specifically causing you to say that? Oh, well, we have none. We're trying to find the evidence. Well, that's not really how the investigative procedure is supposed to work within the United States. Granted, the U.S. House has the right to. Not technically, but there's no specific a literal constraint on their power to investigate in this manner. But if they've been told by Nuchin and the IRS and all other involved parties, we can't give you the information that you're seeking, and Trump's not willing, they have no choice but to go through the courts. The federal court handed them a big win the other day, which uh, in a decision that I happen to myself agree with, but at the same time, it doesn't really matter. It's going to continue to be litigated. It could, it could be years. But that, then again, that works in the Democrats' favor, kind of. Although, if they drag it on too long, uh, they could look like they're just obstructing. Now, I think that they look like that already, because it's quite clear that this is political theater. But I mean, like a normal, like a center-right individual who's not fully on board the MAGA, the fucking Trump train, uh, they might start to say, well, the Democrats aren't doing their job. We got a porous border, and we still need more tax reform. What about this infrastructure bill everyone talked about? We got a trade war. We got all these problems. And yet all the Democrats want to do is waste their time investigating to, for taxes, uh, even though they don't have any actual paperwork to go on. They've got a few financial disclosure forms and some business dealings and stuff from like the Mueller era. But I mean, they've gone through all this shit. Senate Judiciary went through it and said there was nothing wrong either. I think that somebody certainly by now would have nailed Trump. If you, if you were actually like a tax dodger or something, had done something palpably illegal, I would think that by now he would have been crushed underfoot. The New York, the New York Attorney General's office is trying to fuck him in the ass right now, and they've been doing that for years. They've always disliked Trump for some odd reason. Maybe he had too much power, too much money, and they're like, well, we want more of it. And so it's worth it to sue him. It's worth, it's worth spending millions of dollars to litigate because the payoff could be in the billions, so the state of New York wants his money. They've been weaponizing their, their uh, prosecutors there to go after people and audit them at the state level anyway, uh, just because their tax rate is so burdensomely high that a bunch of millionaires have been leaving the state. And so they audit their taxes for the last few years when they do that to try to recoup money that's being taken otherwise out of the state. I mean, and people, you know, people are aware that this is going on and they don't think that they could weaponize their system against Trump. So the state of New York is already trying to screw him. They closed some loophole with regards to double jeopardy a couple of days ago in order to prevent Trump from pardoning people, I guess, uh, in the normal way, and it's like really surreal. They're doing everything they can to constrain presidential power right now. Wouldn't it have been nice if they had done that when Bush or Obama had been president? Just saying. That's about all.